Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about dimensions in SketchUp versus Layout. So this is a topic that comes up, I don't know, every few weeks on the forum. Uh, people ask either about the capabilities of the dimensions tool in SketchUp versus Layout, uh, wanting to do something in one spot versus another, not really understanding why you would dimension over here versus over here. What's the purpose of the two dimension tools between two different platforms? So uh, I just figured it was worth a good video. We can take a look at it. So let's go. All right, so here's a little little patio design I downloaded off 3D Warehouse. And I have a couple of dimensions over here. So just, just these two right here. Uh, and that's what we're gonna talk about. So I have a vertical dimension showing, you know, how tall this, this beam up here is and then how wide between these two posts. So I just snapped these in real quick. I'm not, this, the goal of this is not to you know, show how to use the dimension tool so much as uh, when and why and what control we have over this. So it's in, in SketchUp, the dimension tool is fairly automatic. I don't have a whole lot of control over how, how it displays. Um, I can't lock the, the dimensions are kind of like screen text. So they always face the camera. So as I spin around, they will always face towards me and see they have some some clipping stuff so when the line itself gets covered up obscured the text disappears but you can see right here i can just catch the edge of it so i'm still getting the dimensions because they're on either side of this column so that's some kind of stuff that you, you can't control that uh, if you're doing an on-screen dimension it's great it's nice because you can read it but uh, if you're like trying to do output, it can be a little awkward because if I come to a view from the side like this, I have text just showing up. So there is some control over this. If I go to window and bring up my model info, um, I can actually go to dimensions and I have the ability to change the font, the size and change the endpoints. Um, I, we I can also we'll talk about that too. I said that right now it's set to align to screen. Uh, we'll talk about turning that off too. But see in here I can say okay uh, I want to go with a bolder thing, so I'm going to go to Arial Black and we we'll go a little bit bigger. I'm going to go 18 point, um, and then from there I can say either select all dimensions and then update select dimensions, or I can select and update individuals. In this case I'll do all of them. All right, there we go. There's my bigger bolder dimensions, my endpoints, closed, open, dot, dash, slash. Um, so if I do want to do something like dots, again, I have to update as I make those changes. Um, then I do have align to screen or align to dimension line. If I do this, then I do get that locked in place dimension. So that again, if I'm if I'm want to print this out or something that looks great, but if I'm working as using this as working dimensions as I'm inside SketchUp, obviously. That's a little awkward. That doesn't look so hot. So that can be changed uh, there. As far as the, I don't know, fidelity of the dimension. So right now you can see I have some dimensions. This one's to 15 sixteenths and this one's to an eighth of an inch. Um, this is all relative to what your units are set to. So in here, my display precision is currently set to a sixteenth of an inch. If I make that a whole inch and then close this, it'll update after just a second and I'll see that that's going to round then everything to the nearest inch. There is no way to say, you know, round this one to the nearest dimension and leave this one on an eighth of an inch. I can't, I can't do that. It's, it's all or none. It's also affects my entire model. So as I go in and input now, my display dimensions as I'm drawing are going to be to the nearest inch and not down to the 16th. So it's a global setting. And that global unit setting does affect dimensions. So that's the kind of control you have over dimensions while you're inside SketchUp. So why, what would you use this for? What I usually recommend is using dimensions for things that you yourself are keeping track of. So I'm, I'm, I'm minding uh, the space, the headspace on a set of stairs as I go down from the tread to the ceiling above it. I want to make sure that's always 
tall enough so I don't hit my head. That kind of thing, have it up on the screen. If I'm passing this to somebody else and going, hey, here's the opening, here's the space that I have there. Is this gonna be big enough for whatever you need to do? Is this good, big enough to pass the materials through that you need to, that sort of thing. This is the ideal reason for dimensions in SketchUp, is information on screen. Uh, that's why it does stuff like align to screen, and, and that's why we don't have more options in here to fine tune, because it's really kind of quick and dirty dimensioning. This is a quick tape measure on the job site kind of thing, is, is the, the goal here with these dimensions. Um, so with that, we're gonna look at layout, but first I do want to give you one tip. If you're doing dimensions, I would recommend putting them on their own tag. So here I actually have, uh, well here this tag is called tag, so I'm going to call it dimensions, and I'm going to take these and I'm going to apply them to that dimensions tag. This is just a quick tip, like I said, uh, this is nice for a couple reasons. For one is I can have dimensions on here and I can just real quickly get rid of them and I'm back to my regular model. The other reason this is nice is if you go into layout, uh, it's real easy to control SketchUp dimensions and turn them off if you want to put layout dimensions on instead. So a good tip in general is right there. Okay, with that, let's hop over and take a look at layout. Okay, so here's that exact same model. Uh, I did create a scene looking at the end in parallel projection just to kind of get a good layout look. Um, so first thing you see is here's those dimensions that I put in in SketchUp. Now this is worth pointing out. These are not selectable. I can't edit them. There's not, there's nothing to these. They are just part of the model, part of the display. Um, this is not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe these are, are dimensions of note that you want to make sure and call out. Uh, but they're not editable. They are part of the model. Because they are on a tag though, I can always come over here and turn that tag off to get rid of them inside a layout. Now I can use layouts dimension tool to go ahead and maybe put those dimensions back in and then put them across there and then across here. Now, here's the thing about layout. So you may have already noticed that came in as meters because last time I used the dimension tool, I dimensioned meters. But because we're in layout, I can do some, I can change that real easy. I can say, okay, make this one feet. And I could actually say, okay, leave this one feet and this one meters if I wanted to. I can put my precision in there. How, how, what, what precision do I want? Do I want decimal or I, do I want uh, fractional inches? And then how fine do we want to go with those fractional inches? I can change all of that on a dimension line by dimension line case. So each of these could have their own settings. And then I can also, I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg, of course, right? I can also come through here and I can bring up uh, my text options and change the color and size. And uh, I can, where do I want to put the text? We've done all this stuff in the, the dimension tool um, in layout, but I have a lot more control. And again, it's, it's line by line, so it's not, universal across all of them. Uh, the other thing is when you go to output, frankly, these lines, they're just gonna be cleaner. They're, they're nice vector images, whether, regardless of whether you have your model set to vector or raster, you can see everything's raster right now. I got all my, my jagged lines on, on, the, on the angles. Um, it doesn't matter. Dimension lines are gonna be raster, or gonna be uh, vector, artifacts no matter what. So when I output this, they're always gonna be these nice, clean, bold lines. So I'm not gonna get raster dimensions is what would come out if I was to hit like print screen or export to JPEG from SketchUp. When I export from layout, I'm gonna get nice, clean dimensions. The other thing, of course, is that in both cases, the dimensions will stay connected to geometry. So I can't always update and it will if I update the model, I can update the dimensions as well. But this, the use case for exporting dimensions from layout is like final output. Somebody's going to go build something off this or they're going to reference this. And this is just a much cleaner, more precise. You have a lot more control over the output. Like I said, you can also come in here if, if you want to, like I just showed, we'd change that. But if I want to come in here, I could actually click in here 
and I can change the actual text. So it said 3.3 meters. I want to drop this. I want it to be just 3 meters. And with that, I can overwrite. I have total control over what the text says. So this is the reason you would want to go into layout. So people occasionally will go onto the forum asking, you know, I want to, I want to make my, my dimensions look real good in SketchUp so I can print it out. Um, it's really not the intention of the tool. The tool for exporting dimensions for actual generating output is right here inside of layout. I hope that made sense. I mean, I mean, it was kind of a, a loose example, but I did want to show the differences. We didn't go into, you know, burrow deep down into each of those. We already have videos. There's the square one video that is uh, the dimension tool. There's a let's talk layout uh, video about dimensions and layout. So those are already there. What I want to do here is put them up side by side so you can see the difference. SketchUp, like I said, it's like a tape measure. It's, it's like all right, a quick pull, a quick measurement. That's it. Layout, this is like dimension plan set. That is exactly what it is made to do. That is how you should be using it. Um, I, should, ooh, I don't want to tell you how to use it, but that's how you could use it. That's the intended design is what I should say. Uh, so that's the difference between the two. Uh, if, if you use it differently, I would love to hear about that too. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'd be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, do leave us a comment. Do you have a way of using dimensions in one or the other? What are they? Did I miss something? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.